Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add a beautiful sticky menu inside of your WordPress site. So let me show you the front end of my website first of all. So you'll be able to see that I have a beautiful website right here, but it does not have the sticky menu enabled by default. Let me show you. So as you can see, the sticky menu has not been enabled. So I want to add a sticky menu inside of here to make this website look a little bit more appealing. So let me show you exactly how to add this sticky menu. First of all, go back to your WordPress dashboard. Scroll down and go to the plugin section and click on add new. From inside of here, go to the search bar and search notification bar. Once you're inside of here, install and activate this particular plugin, floating notification bar by Premio. Once installed, you'll be able to see this particular option right here in the left hand side called my sticky menu. Scroll here and go to sticky menu settings. Now you'll be able to see that there's a toggle button here and besides there, it is written sticky menu. Simply come here and enable the toggle. And now your sticky menu will be activated. Now, if you want to configure the sticky menu, you have to come down here. Once you come down here, you'll be able to see the sticky class. And from inside of here, you can simply select the menu in which you want to add the sticky header. So I will just select the primary menu, but you can select whatever menu you want to have. Once I scroll down to the settings section, I'll be able to see that I can configure the Z index of this sticky menu. So I can add whatever Z index that I like, but by default, this number is fine with me. Now here I can add an effect to the sticky menu. So I can either select slide or fade. From down here, I can select the background color of the sticky menu. So I can make this whatever color that I like. I simply have to put in the hex inside of here. Here I can configure the transition time and here I can configure the text color of the sticky menu. And here I can adjust the opacity as well. Once everything has been configured, I can simply go down here and click on save. Now let me view the website on the front end. So as you can see, I'm back here in my website's front end. Let me quickly reload this. And let me see if the sticky menu is working or not. So as you are able to see, the sticky menu is working perfectly and it looks absolutely beautiful. So that's how you add a sticky menu inside of WordPress. If you like this video, consider subscribing, turning on your bell notifications, giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good day.